Hey Pauline, it is July 11th, 2012, date 38 of the project, and I happen to agree with most of your adaptations scale sort of thing. I agree with your good and your mediocre, however I have to say something about different characters for the Harry Potter series. Um, the Dumbledore, since because the first Dumbledore passed away three days after shooting the second film, they had to replace it. So the second Dumbledore wasn't as good. I One characteristic which is constantly brought up in the books, the sparkling blue eyes beneath half-rimmed glasses, that was very, very not there until like the last scene of the sixth movie and I just found that fell flat for me. Um, I can't really say much about the Hunger Games because, well, you know, I've kind of been banned from watching them until I read the books. And I've been banned to re from reading the books until I read uh, Battle Royale. So, we'll get on that. I just have a ridiculous amount of chapters to write before, like, little to no time. So, <laughs> after the book is done, I will read. <laughs> Probably Christmas. Try for Christmas. Um, okay, for the bad scale, I like the bad part of the scale, Twilight and Aragon, oh, they were just bad. Just bad. Absolutely horrible. But I have to add Avatar The Last Airbender movie. The movie, like, really, it was really bad. It, like, they completely destroyed what the concept of bending was and the concept of characters and how, like, it was just truly portrayed. And so I was really disappointed with that. And it was almost to the point where you wanted to gouge your eyes out before, like, just to make it less painful. Um, what else? I do have to say for Harry Potter, though, even though it fell flat with the characters, some of the sets just were absolutely amazing. Like, I know that you know that I went to see the Harry Potter sets just outside of London, um, basically in May. And I will get the video up! I will! It's saved on a memory card. It's just still unedited at that point in time. Um, I just don't want to crash two computers. But, like, the sets are just absolutely mind-blowing. They're just, like, and they're focused on more production and less the, like, the, what most people think of, oh, these are, this is part of Harry Potter, it's going to be super, super franchised and all that. But, these are more, like, this, this is, it's, the sets are more production worthy. Like, if you want, if you were interested in what production is, what hairstyling is, what, like, all the props, all the monsters, how they did this, how they do th did that, and it's just really cool on how, like, they used angles and different size props to make Hagrid look extremely big or extremely small or all the, and, like, the other characters really, really small. It's just really cool to go see. But I'm going to cut this short, hopefully. Um, I'll talk about mistakes made in movies that are just absolutely hilarious on Friday, and I will see you tomorrow.